He literally threatened and tried to get people to commit, you know, nefarious, violent acts you know, towards Kate and her mother. And you can't do that, Fatty Patty. Patrick Melton, and I wasn't huh? even performing at a comedy club. <laughs> He's telling people to go do stuff to Kate and her mom. Really? That's that's uh, something tells me uh, that's not a hundred percent accurate. What he's claiming? Do that? That's a fucking crime. That's a crime. Crime. And I know Kate was bought. She was. She was bothered by it. I said, Kate, get your ass to the fucking precinct. You got to file <laughs> a report. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Uh, so this this mean guy on the internet is making jokes about me. You gotta go to the police with that yeah. immediately. Uh, let me tell you something, man. New, New York police precinct. Yeah. All they want to do is deal with something like this. <laughs> Believe me. Just the same guy who was defending the guy who attacked CV Lee with the nunchucks. <laughs> you know, he's just like, oh, well, you know, you talk to people the wrong way. They're gonna be pissed about it. Fuck with you. And then he's just like, you gotta go right to the NYPD. And tell them this guy was making jokes about you on YouTube. I I got a death threat on Twitter. Like some guy, this is when I was that serious, right? Some yeah. guy uh, puts out a tweet, you know, threatening to kill. He says, I'm going to see you when you get off of work, blah, blah, blah. And one of my supervisors was like, you need to go file a report. You need, you know, Sirius needs you to go down, dude. And I went with like security from Sirius, like the head of security to go to the precinct. It's in Manhattan, right? The yeah. Midtown. I walk in, and I, I'm not kidding you. I was harassed more trying to file this report by the police than the person that threatened to kill me. The woman yeah. was screaming at me. She's like, where did the threat happen? And I'm like, listen, I I'm, I don't even want to file the fucking report. I'm like, they told me to come down here and do it. So Kate walking in going, I have a clip I want you to see. <laughs> I mean, she's a chick, so you might get a cop or two that'll be like, let me take a look at this, sweetheart. Right. You know, but... They're not. They're not gonna fucking. No, I, I can. I can imagine you walking into the precinct to be like, "Look, I'm a celebrity, and people want to harm me." They're like, "You're a fucking celebrity, really? Okay, what do you do exactly? Hey, let me ask a couple of the people over here. Anyone know who this asshole is? No, it doesn't seem like you're a celebrity, sir. Get the fuck out of here." Yeah, this is a hundred percent true. I had to go sit in a room with a detective, and he walks in. And he goes, "Look, I don't uh, listen to uh, morning radio." He goes, I don't know who you are. I don't know who this guy is. He goes, but I got to ask you this question. Are you gay? <laughs> and I, and my first thought was, I'm like, this guy's an ONA fan. He's got to be. Right, like, yeah. and, and, shit. and I go, why? He goes, well, because he called you a gay slur in the, in the tweet. And so if you're gay, then that can be it a hate counts. crime. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I blew him. And, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm the gayest guy you've ever met. Check this like, out. <laughs> file that shit. Why? Because if God forbid anything happens, this is God. You have to fill out a report because they have to know that this guy is inciting people. So this this is legal advice from a drunk at the end of the bar. You know, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. It's familiar, Jan Six. Oh my god, I knew he was gonna connect those wow. dots. I fucking knew he was gonna connect those wow. dots right there. He's such an idiot. I just wanna say that if you attack somebody, the person who's uh, responsible for that is the attacker. Okay, just throwing that out there real quick. Right. And he is doing it. Why? Okay, did you hurt Witty Patties? Little Patty's feelings. It's got to be oh, yeah. a category for Gabby's best baby yeah. talk. He's done it so much. There's going to be so many to go through. The only one who gets her feelings hurt is you, John. Every time. I can tell you, I know Patrick Melton kind of well at this point. We're doing a show together coming up. He's going to be on WTP this week. Um, he doesn't get his feelings hurt. He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. I promise you that. He's moving on. Onward and upward. He's, he's doing good. Do it. Did you hurt Fatty Patty's feelings? But holy shit, you should see, and it's, and it's racist, and it's real, real fucking, like, I'm talking 
John, your wet brain is leaking fuck. into your mouth. Shut up. Lock that fat fuck up. Saurus, this guy. Put that hunchback <laughs> in a fucking cage. The boy who called cried racism. Yep. And what he said about Brennan's wife? Uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Only Shitway is wife and Carl's wife. Right. That's the only wives we can trash. Everybody yeah. knows that. And also uh, Carl's mother and father and right. sister and nephews. And those right. are people we can trash on this show for some reason. Also, didn't Quadfather call Kevin Brennan's wife a, a monkey on your I show, John? I, yeah. point the, I point the clip. But I believe. <laughs> point, devil, point. You know, might want to research, Sean. I don't know. Have some fun with it. This is what I told him when we did our one on one. Right. I go, John, you got to stop it with this victimhood, with this tattletale. Like, oh my gosh, you did something racist and offensive. Like, you got to stop it. We're all trying to have fun here. Be an adult. Yeah. yeah. Fatty Patty is a fat fucking loser. Right. Well, that's true. <laughs> and I'm just saying, man, like, when I, as soon as I heard it, I picked up the phone and I called Kate. I go, you know, because she was like, John, you know. I go, what are you wearing? Like, right, right. <laughs> John, you said work stands about look, her. I know Kevin Remember? thinks it's all the work. And, you know, yeah, I, I'll get into Lady Kmart. But he's John, on his John's fucking... a doesn't work. <laughs> he really does. He hasn't for years. He wishes something was a work. <laughs> Show that stupid, let's talk about John once. That should be his mantra. I never do work. Yeah. I don't work. I don't pretend to work. You're yeah, like Bill O'Reilly in the no spin zone. He has the no work zone. <laughs> no work zone. Nothing's a work. I don't even work. How can anything be a work? <laughs> the fucking thing sucks. <laughs> Again, I mean, these guys, it's like every day. Actually, when I was cutting this, I had a question that came to yeah. my mind. I'm curious y'all's response. So when he does this whole, like, that rap about how we're doing another show about do you think when he sees it live on youtube and clicks into it he's like holy shit they're talking about me again yeah probably i would think so yeah the funny thing about this is and i, I put this on wtp this week so john says holy shit they're talking about me every day john talks about shuli and me every yeah. single day every single episode he does he, he brings us up and the funniest part to me was he goes no one even knows who you are, Carl. No one knows who you are. I'm like, well, that means that your show's not very popular because you talk about me every single episode. So if your show is popular, people would know who I was just based yeah. on that. Yeah. If, if I'm a nobody, who the fuck are you then? We do yeah. Point Devil Point Fridays at 4 p.m., John. Just so in case you're wondering how often we do a roundtable discussion about you, it's weekly Fridays at 4 Eastern. Oh, uh, something tells me he's aware of the time. <laughs> I'm <the> sure. <laughs> yeah. And Shitway did it in the morning. Then he did it on point dabble, stupid. And then... Wow, sick bird, dude. <laughs> sick bird. Point dabble, stupid. He's going to do it probably in another half hour. Talk about me. That's all they do. I was doing stand-up that night. Remember? Yeah. Remember, John, what that was like? That's, that's their business model. Talk about stuttering, John. God forbid I die. God forbid. Imagine I get hit by a car or something. I get and I die. <laughs> that's that's how you to go. Getting hit by a car, John. You sit in your apartment and drink beer every day, all day. You're not gonna die from getting hit by a car. Hey, Carl. In all fairness, it did start with a Red Bull to get the energy up to drink the beers all day. All right. So they always have these these. Uh, I watch a lot of sports. And yeah. they always want to get people betting on sports. So they'll say, okay, going into the third period, if you bet that this team's going to come back and win by three goals, it's plus 1400 You know, bet $100 with 1000 400 right. bucks. It's like, John getting hit by a car, what would that be? A $100 bet. <laughs> what would that be? Or that's the way he dies. Well, I think if it's if the car is anywhere near Pickwick Pub, it's even money bet. I don't <laughs> okay, think it's even money bet. Yeah, I was going to say, psoriasis of the liver is, is definitely you lose money on that. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. You got to put in, you know, two million to win a million. Yeah, you know, right. You know? <laughs> Makes no sense. Well, they do. I mean, seriously. I'm their fucking cash cow. 
The whole lot of them. Move, they ain't got nothing. Move, bitch. And I'll tell you, uh -oh. what's another crime is if they don't fucking give me a kickback. I should get a 20% commission on their net each month. Yeah, you're not negotiating this very well right now, Jeb. Well, First it, off, you don't start at 20%. You start higher than that if you want yeah. money. On net, yeah. Carl. A a net. Net. A I know. A I was getting very specific on this. He's such an idiot. These guys don't even make any money. It's all fake. It's all fake super chance, and I want 20%. That's what I was going to say. I'll give you 50% of fake if you want, John. How about 100%? There's nothing there. Yours. Seriously. A net. Just for staying on the air. But they don't do that. So they don't do that. Beyond no, 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 no. Good. John, how much money do you owe to Shuli's Anonymous and right. Hackverse or whatever the fuck? Like right. these subreddits, you get you get all of your content from. Are you kicking any money back to those creators? I mean, that's my dream. I don't want to see his channel go down. I don't want to see him lose gigs. My dream is for him to not be able to go on to Reddit for an entire show. No Twitter, no Reddit. That's the show I want. We actually did see that this past week, where he had. Two guests stand him up, and he goes, I, right. got, I got nothing. He just right. bailed on his show. Oh, no, yeah. he went to Reddit. He did. Yeah, no, yeah, no, that's yeah. true. He did, yeah. <laughs> he went looking if Bob was on. I think <laughs> Levy <laughs> Voss is on yeah, today. Right. That's right. He didn't like, go around a little bit. I think, I think if Reddit goes down, Twitter goes down, and, and it's like that uh, sketch they did on SNL where the teleprompter went down, and Will Ferrell was on, and he... It turned into like Lord of the Flies by the third commercial break. Yeah. He, he beheaded the weatherman, you know. He's like, uh, I just see him completely losing his mind without his go-to thing. He's already know? lost. Because we all know John can't vamp. He can't fill no. any <laughs> void, any time with any anything interesting or entertaining. Well, well, what did he used yeah. to do with his political shows? He just what you, was it Lincoln's Bible? He'd play clips from or. Oh, yeah, he just yeah, had a yeah, bunch yeah. of political YouTubers that he used to go to and just play their clips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had that weird guy who did, like, all the song and dance stuff yeah. that was so ridiculous. Like, no heterosexual man wants to hear it, but it was making fun of Trump, so he's like, this is great. Like, no, it's not. It's really lame. Great. Let me make sure this is here. Hold on. Got it. Good. Because I don't want this fucking... Snaggle to taking it down before I fucking downloaded it because I can see this little baby fucking doing that. I've never <laughs> taken down a video ever, John. You take down your you hide your videos all the fucking time. Every ice dumps video, everything that people made fun of me for that six hour cast I did where my wife walked into my office or in the middle yeah. of it that everyone's made fun of that Vince the Loser cut up because he thought it was a Star Wars toy. I've never taken anything down. I'm not you're the one who takes shit down, asshole. Well, and then not to mention the cow bikini picture. That's yeah. on your social media. Of that's course still it available. Is. We're right. not taking that shit down. They, they, right. we, we're all in on the joke. You're not. <laughs> right. There you go. Look, John's got the same yeah, nice, one. Nice likes, John. Well, the other thing <laughs> is, you know, from time to time, if Frog's at the computer and he John's sees he's watching one of joke. our videos, he'll just John make it private while he's yeah. watching it just to fuck with him. So I yeah. think he, he's a little paranoid that you're going to. Do the got same it. thing. Got it. Yeah. No, actually, when I finish uh, Point Devil Point, I go out to dinner with my wife. Like, a normal <laughs> get out of here. I, I don't know, hop on my computer. Like, is John going to respond? Do I have to take something down? Like, no, I actually have plans. I'm what a fucking dinner. loser going to dinner <laughs> with his wife. But I'm going to play you this shit. And it's hypocrisy. It is the ultimate hypocrisy. Brennan did it beautifully today. Oh, what is going on? That doesn't even look real. No, that's not real. That's the thumbnail. I mean, that's where we're starting. I mean, the thumbnail, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, cause I mean, because the the one finger is not only crooked, but it's also like, um, and I, I guess I never noticed this before, but it's sideways too. Like, look yeah, at his, his nail is almost up against his middle finger. I got it. It's at like a 90 degree angle. Yeah. Brennan did it beautiful. Oh, that's sweet cool. today. It's like Bob Levy's wow. feet. Wow. It's like it's gross. It's 
it's like the military has those guns that you could turn and look, and you have a little monitor <laughs> yeah, and you right. shoot around the corner. That's yes. what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, I was watching Kevin. Shocking. And he just was like, you guys are just talking about yourselves. Everything you say about John is talking about what they're guilty of. Oh, that's a good, that's a singer. <laughs> and then we'll get into all of the dumb shit that lady fucking Kmart said. Good. And by okay. the way, I'm, real, I'm kind of upset with Clay Dabla. Uh -oh. He was supposed to come on today. You are upset with said, somebody. What? Wait, hold on a second. That guy's so responsible. Don't tell me he got drunk. And pass out before he's supposed to come on. I know he's in uh, London, right? So it's probably yeah. six hours ahead. So it's it's possible he drank too much and passed out and missed it. I think taking a shower. Him. Yeah, I think he told taking, God he was taking, taking a shower. A, taking a quadriplegic shower. Oh, you're, you're so close on that. <laughs> what? What, do you just roll in there or what? What do you do exactly? That's my favorite question ever. Because he's got a, he had a date. Uh, oh, that's definitely a lie. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shower. Hey! Uh, 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 uh. I don't think he's going to come on again. You know, I think that he got spooked by all these fucking people. I think he got embarrassed but, by uh, blackout so truck on the internet. I think that's what happened. <laughs> John, you're out he of did breath give us one talking. of my favorite drops ever that we have now. The, the Mike Morse. Fuck you, that? Mike Morse. Fuck off, you useless, untalented piece of shit. Typing with one hand, was, he, one he, finger. Yeah, he gave me that gift. He made some you good points about it. Wasn't, it wasn't all bad. Nah. And that was before he got really drunk. <laughs> yeah. oh, but before I stop playing this, because I'll wait till the people gathering him, it's so funny. Uh -huh. These these assholes. I'll wait for a buzz to build on the internet. <laughs> <We're not laughs> talking. Uh, Don Rickles. Did Don Rickles give twenty percent to the bozos in the front row? He goofed on John. No. TSN WATP won't either. You fool. Yeah, I've actually. actually never heard of that model. It seems like a dumb yeah. business model. Yeah. Did really did, did Howard and Fred give him twenty percent? No, no, he, he never would ask either. He knows better. All right, I'll be your punching bag, but 20% of your net. <laughs> Trying to have a gotcha moment with me. Always. Like, somehow, I lied about something. Oh. Yet, I, I haven't lied about anything. <laughs> anything. All right, it's, it's sometimes funny. I, you, I give it to him. You all. lie about everything. That's pretty good. I like when he makes statement statement uh, this statement in particular because then he always admits a lie or two. Yeah, and then he has to go back and admit all the lies. <laughs> all right, there's been so many of them; it's ridiculous. All right, let's let's go back a couple seconds. Oh, I lied about something. Yet I I haven't lied about anything. Anything. If you really think about it, did I lie a few years ago that I was teaching? Yeah. I haven't lied about anything. John, you lie about everything. <laughs> anything. But that was to protect the school, children, the kids, and me. Oh, I'm sure it comes you to lie real every day. And shit, oh. I don't lie. So that fucking potato was trying to say, oh, John, I searched it, and you never had a good review from Rolling Stone magazine. No, you didn't. Okay. Uh, so let's. Uh, oh no! Let's look for my Twitter. Child. Oh no! We. I mean, it's. I, just, I you hate. Seen? I hate when he looks for something. It, it takes forever. It starts the singing and the uh. They got to find it. Makes me never mind. Doesn't up. matter. It is just unbelievable. Have you so, seen this yet, Carl? I have not. The Let's... comparison he makes of himself. Oh, I no. I haven't seen this either. You know what's so weird? Let me just point this out before I see it, because I probably know what's going to happen here. 
What's so weird about John and his personality disorder that we've been breaking down over the last couple of months is that any normal person would look back at something they did in 1994, like the Southern John album that he made, and go, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> I'm actually a little embarrassed by it. It wasn't as good as it could have been. John thinks that he was right up there with Soundgarden and Pearl Jam, and uh, you could just listen to any of those albums. You'd be like, yeah, Stuttering John, Pearl Jam, Green Day, Weezer. It's all the same. He's so fucking stupid. Uh, and, I mean, it's beyond, it's, it's beyond confidence. It is delusion. It's delusion. It's yeah. delusional. It's, it's nuts. John, we could play this album for 100 people, and 98 of them would leave before it right. was over. It's not good. You have to know that. How do you not know that? Not to mention the two that liked it, you wouldn't want anything to do with those two people ever. It'd be, it'd be in life. Clay Dabbler and right. uh, what's his name, Bob? Disco Bob, or whatever. <laughs> the only two. Robert yeah. Myers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy's pretty good. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna talk about. It. All right. Uh, okay. Uh. uh. Oh, this is what I'm missing out because I'm blocked. This is all the stuff I'm missing out on. Bummer. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, not me anymore, by the way. Electric. Breaking news. Goes. What's that? I'm You're not blocked? Yeah. Whoa. Do you know why, Cardiff? I I heard he unblocked me so he could see something on his show and then said he was going to block me right back again. But I don't Yeah, he, that's <laughs> about to happen right now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> He's having an argument with Muttering Jay. And so, how do I get to the beginning of this thread? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Every day. Uh, so he's having an thing, thing. argument with you can't find Cardiff anything. is well, Cardiff trying to say <laughs> the <laughs> fucking thing. Scroll. <laughs> scroll, scroll, yeah, scroll. You know what? I'll go to Muttering J. It's easier. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so bad at this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Roll! So, let me see. Roll! Do do do. Scroll! It's all the same post because he retweets everything. I'm noticing the same thing. Just trying to find this fucking. You know, I hate when it's like can never find shit. Oh my god! Because you're stupid. It's not Twitter. It's almost like you should click on it, copy the URL, and paste in your notes. As everyone tells you all the time, John. Learn yeah, we... something. I know you're 58. Learn something new. Learn a technique. I'm, I'm not. He always like when he goes. I'm not getting involved with him. <laughs> so stupid. Nasty Al. Wow. Thank you for the hundred bucks, nice. buddy. There are times I want to fight SJ. Not in the Mike Tyson way, but more like Mo versus Curly. I love it. I. I, I he. That's a Three Stooges. Re, uh, you know, revamp right there with him. Maybe Clay. Clay can be Larry. Nasty Al. Uh, Nasty Al. Can you help my dreams come true? I noticed both Shuli and Carl were guests on Chip Chipperson. Can you guys watch those? Those are full of snot, bad jokes, uh, saliva, brain malfunction. Sound familiar? Okay, I'm in. Well, yeah, I mean, Chip's playing a character, and John is just exactly. Like, uh, <laughs> I exactly. think they're implying that the Chip was based on John. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Me and Gene dropping a dime. Let's go, buddy. Oh, nice. Come on. Suck my dick! Ah. Ah. I swallow cum. Thank me! It's annoying. Oh, he's still looking. All right. Because uh... <laughs> not enough to show the article. Do, 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 do. He has to show that dude. he's beat me in something. Right, right. Dude, I want to get to the fucking Cardiff part, but I can't find it. Or did Cardiff embarrassingly take it down? <laughs> you do. You can't what point it. Oh, my God. What the <laughs> fuck, man? Every, anyway, every fuck it. Day. So Cardiff was out there. Okay. You know, I know what I should do. Hold on. You know what? I shouldn't bore you, first of all. Let me just find the fucking show. No, by all means. You don't this want to bore the air. Continue. Uh, it was a few hours ago, but I'll find it. 
No, you won't. Two hours, maybe about five hours ago. I don't know. Have you ever had to search a Twitter it. timeline by hours? <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Do, 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 do. Oh, do, 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 This is where we should see some typing. Do, do, do. Z A R. Okay. What's crazy? What's crazy? He goes, I'm not going to bore you guys. But he's doing the same thing he was doing, but now we're just not watching what he was doing. I'm not going to dox myself more accidentally. All right. <laughs> way more boring than it it's scrolling great. up and down the Twitter. I don't want to bore you, but I'm going to really bore you now. Yeah. So, here we go. There we go. Can't you find a job? Here we go. Nope. Uh, <laughs> it's going. Big gotcha. Here we go. Uh, nope. I forgot what we were looking for. <laughs> Rolling Stone article or something? So how did this get No, he found there? the Rolling Stone uh, article. He wants to find uh, Cardiff's tweet about it. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, Cardiff's, I you guess probably go to Cardiff's page. Now. Specifically Cardiff. Cardiff <laughs> is, is, is not in this. But anyway, so Cardiff Electric is out there trying to say that he looked up something on Howard in 1994, and there was only something on H Howard. I still look. You know, Howard, Howard. What? That's what the, exactly what I said. What the fuck did you just say, John? What's, what? I'm trying to follow this. I want to Hold follow on. this for the show. What did he just say? I'm going back. We're it's gonna verbatim listen. my tweet, Carl. There's no, there's no need to <laughs> translate. Is, what did you just say? Get to there. Uh, uh, I guess Cardiff is is not in this but anyway so cardiff electric is out there trying to say that he looked up something on howard in 1994 and there was only something on howard you know i let me search Cardiff. <laughs> jesus fucking uh, Christ. no wonder uh, you can't find it none of that makes even any sense john jesus uh, does anyone speak moron <laughs> Alcohol related. That would be and a funny airplane too, man. Uh, airplane three, I guess, at this point. And, and I mean, he made it sound like uh, uh, Cardiff, Cardiff researched it in 1994. Not that it was from Cardiff. What the fuck was, is he talking? It about? was my it was my grade school thesis. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it? It was something to yeah, do with the private about? parts. Or, or no. So remember, I said I'm going to start going through my old guitar magazines and like circus yeah. magazines yeah. from the from the time of his album coming out, just to see if I could find any articles uh, on him or any record reviews, anything, anything at all. And I, I, first thing I pulled out was my Howard Stern from February 94, uh, Rolling Stone, like when Stern was on the cover. Got it, okay. Yeah. And that was the month his album came out, so I kind of combed through that again. That, that was the point of my tweet. I'm like, here's a Rolling Stone that came out the same month as your album. Your, Howard Stern is on the cover, yet there's nothing in, like they didn't tie in a, if there was ever a time, if there was ever Honestly, a time, like Cardiff, that. if they did, I'd be shocked. Because people who, who, a lot of people who know John from this new era of stuttering John, but people who didn't, who were following Stern in 94, John was not an important character on the Howard Stern show. He didn't fucking matter. He was an intern that stuck around too long and answered the phones. And then he's, and then Howard would be like, oh, you're in a band, John, really? And Rob would be like, yeah, it's not very good. Well, well, I wasn't saying he should have been. I'm just saying no, if he was ever going to be, it yeah. would be, have to be that one. But that's my point, is that I'm not surprised at all that there's no reference to the fact that John's band put out a CD, because Howard doesn't care about that. He's not promoting that. He's, Howard's promoting Howard. And yeah. Rolling Stone doesn't care about that either. Rolling Stone's promoting Howard. Howard would specifically say, do not put this idiot in this right. issue. Yeah. I don't want to be attached to this idiot, you know? Also, can we all yeah. agree that Fred Norris is a better guitarist than Stuttering John? Hundred percent. There's a reason 100%. why the losers, Fred Norris was the guitarist, and John was what the bass player. Yeah. There's a reason for that, John. You're not gonna... uh, and he, yeah, and uh, and Scott got kicked out of the losers, which was the greatest ever. You He's know. so bad. But <laughs> such a loser, he got thrown out of the loser. That's John's impressive. a better one-handed piano player than he is a guitarist at this point. I, I, you know, I know he was, he's blocked, but I'll unblock him just for this sake for this. of this. this. And then we'll get to it that way. 
by any means necessary. Uh, Why are you <laughs> people, John? What? You I got a a lift. So here he Because he's got... He wears his heart on his sleeve, Carl. He's a very sensitive boy. Shui, I don't give a fuck about Twitter and X and what people do out I, there. The one thing that annoys me, and it should annoy everyone, is when someone lift. blocks someone, like John and blocks me, and then talks shit about me directly, and I can't yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah. That's Him and Brennan are the, are cut from the same bitch Such cloth. Such a pussy move. What are you doing? Yep. Yep. I swear to you, he he unblocks, replies, and blocks. Yeah, right. Like, I've seen him do that a couple times to me. <laughs> but can't you, like, if you wanted to see or interact with somebody that's blocked, can't you do it without unblocking them? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if he wanted to send you a DM where you oh. can't reply because you're blocked, he could still do that, right? I don't think I so. Don't know. I, don't I think if you're blocked, you, I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know either. I don't, I don't know that you. works, but I do know that you can have as many Twitter accounts as you fucking want. So if anybody <laughs> right. wants to see anything, they can. It's not hard. You just don't sign in. It's not yeah. hard. That's the only win. It's a little frustrating when I go look at your Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I have to click a couple things. Yes. That was much easier. Here's Cardiff. Now, Cardiff is trying again. Trying to say that I did not. 94 Circus Magazine. Yeah, it's not what the tweet says. The inspired release of Suttering John's debut album, Howard Stern makes an appearance, but not a stutter about Suttering John anywhere. Okay. Okay. It's a brilliant that's tweet. Card. Okay, is. so that's what he's going to say. What's wrong with that? So, that's correct. Right? Then. That that took seven minutes to find yeah, out. Yeah, I know. What do I do? Show is this. Two. <laughs> I go to my file from Dustin. <laughs> Boy, you. So he's like, somehow he's saying that I'm lying or I, I'm lying about the good review from Rolling. This, this, pay attention. This is multitask, John. Yeah, this is not what he said at all. It was Circus Magazine. It had nothing to do with reviews. But again, Actually, he's trying to search for whatever his next thing is while talking and he cannot do this correctly just listen nothing makes sense stone it never happened it never happened john i caught you gotcha you never got a good review nothing in circus nothing anywhere nothing nothing right right let's see let's see shall we oh wait wait we're waiting. Cardiff. <laughs> yes. Did you mean this one? With Soundgarden on the cover? Yes. Yes, John. Is that the one you meant? That's the one. Is that the one that doesn't exist? This one? Oh. What is it? We were talking the other day about an animated series where it's just the perspective of his neighbors in the apartment next to him. <laughs> and they're just eating dinner. And they're like, oh, John found his Rolling Stone review. <laughs> like, they, they're just all commenting on everything he's yelling yeah, about. The little girl's just like, yeah, I know. Muttering Jay posted that yesterday. I don't know why <laughs> yeah. he had a hard time finding it. Uh, well, Joyce looks like he's mad at uh, Cardiff again. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I guess Tukey says something racist. I don't know. I'm not following uh, closely. And <laughs> they just at the dinner table. Uh, he's got to prove he's got a motorcycle again, sounds like. Dad, stuttering John, three stars. Hey, Lady K. Three stars out of what? Out of, out of 70. Do you ever have a good review from the fucking D magazine for rock and roll? Oh, Rolling Stone, the magazine that accused the Duke lacrosse players of uh, raping that girl, and it turns out it was all a fucking hoax! And it ruined their lives! Rolling Stone has no credibility, John! You retard. I mean, that is really, that is pretty rock and roll, though, to write a story <laughs> like that. Rolling Stone has no credibility. Oh, uh, no. You ever get the National Enquirer to say you're the best podcaster in the world, <laughs> Lady K? Uh, huh? Does uh, Bad Boy go on your show, Lady K? <laughs> Ever hear of the top 100 riffs of all time? That's what they do. Fucking idiots. I don't think so. John, don't be an asshole. Just come in here as your channel. <laughs> Who else is talking about Gypsy, <laughs> Gypsy Morning? Morning? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. This like sucks. Uh, <laughs> the claw. Yeah, what is that, John? Why does your hand have to go up so high? I don't think so. <laughs> wow. Let me What's crazy is we watched Old Beer on the Balconies. You can 
drink and it stays right down. Right. It's definitely now, something that's happened recently. Yeah. Yeah. It has to go up with him. Well, what I thought he was going to pull up was the the article. There was another uh, Modern J unveiled another one from Guitar Magazine around that time where John compared his guitar stylings to Jimmy Page, Jesus where he's very God. sloppy in his play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what an asshole. Maybe Jimmy Page. Maybe Jimmy Page, Page had those CDs, you know? Yeah. Before Jimmy Page was in Led Zeppelin, he was a studio musician. They brought him as like a ringer. He was a session player that they would bring in. They didn't get credit for playing these things. John would never get that. Just the opposite. They'd right. say, Bill Titus, can you play the lead? Because John's just not cutting out this one. Please help us out. And yeah, well, whole... he, he, just yeah. Kept, he just kept hearing them say, every time we recorded something, they just kept just hearing the, the the control room yeah bring in jimmy page bring, yeah let's yeah. let's do what they used to do with him but the whole reason for bringing this up it's funny because he read cardiff's tweet with had which had nothing to do with what so he's getting someone told him this this is the game of telephone and then john goes on the air and tries to remember what the person told him and that comes out and right. now here we are you know Playing a solo game of telephone. You're only telling one person the message and it gets mangled. By no, that, that's a really good point, Julie. Like John's always trying to put together these narratives. Yeah. And he wants to have this package and he wants to present things like a Bill Marwood or a John Stewart, the people he looks up to. Right. Where they can start with this premise and then build with evidence and then come to a conclusion and then a thunderous applause at the end. You know, guys like Bill Maher and John Stewart can do that. John starts with. Look at what Cardiff said that when Circus Magazine interviewed Howard Stern in January of 94, he didn't mention me. But then, look at this evidence. You're like, this has nothing to do with anything. That's not what nope. Cardiff was talking about at all. What do you mean? Uh, idiot. Read it for you, Lady K. Let me read it for you, Cardiff Electric. Atlantic. Big Beat Atlantic. One of the niftier attractions of Howard Stern's Shock Talk Circus. <laughs> really be talking about artist. Howard Stern. I love it. The first sentence brings up that you're a part of the Howard Stern show. Gee, I wonder why you got a record deal, John. No one else can figure it out either. Uh, Lady Kate, the first sentence is stuttering John three stars. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. Get it right. Stuttering John Melendez has distinguished himself by deflating celebs with stammered, cut the bullshit surprise attacks. Right. Just by surprise. Fred and Jackie right. and Howard. And yes, right. John, that's the one thing we give you credit for reading the questions they wrote down for you to ask. But let's remember, this is a record review. I know. That's what I mean. He's like, started this off. He's just like, all right, the reason why we're even talking about this is that this guy's funny on the radio as a stunt boy. All right, so take that with a grain of salt is the sweet strong kick of stuttering john his power trio party rock debut a credible guitarist time out they're not yeah. a party trio or power trio or whatever the fuck you just said they're a four piece <laughs> bill titus is the second guitarist we were watching the live show from 94 on my show the other day. Bill Titus was a much better guitarist than John. John claims to be the second best guitarist in his high school. He's the second best guitarist in his band. <laughs> There's four people in it. But okay, let's keep going. How do you like that, Lady K? A credible guitarist and a singer. Credible. Belting recalls the end. If you use the term credible as a compliment. Incredible, yeah. It, that's like when Dave Grohl started the Foo Fighters. Yeah. And I remember, because I was in Guitar World magazine, and I was reading all this stuff, and I remember, like, Guitar World was just like, hey, this drummer from Nirvana can kind of play guitar, you know? And right. like, yeah, it's legit. It's, it's kind of credible. It's, it's not like he's... No one's praising John as the next virtuoso. He's not Steve Vai. No one thinks he's Eddie right. Van Halen. Look. Lady Carla, it says the adequate play stylings. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's the stadium shaking of David Lee Roy. Look at that. Let me read it for you again. Yeah, please, just so I, it sinks in, it. Lady yeah, Kate. Please, please do. A credible guitarist <laughs> and a singer whose belting 
recalls the stadium shaking of David Lee Roth. Okay, but you've never played a stadium, right? And also, no. David Lee Roth is not known as being a good singer. You know no. that, right? Hubbity bibbity bobbity bibbity hubbity bibbity bop <laughs> is what he's known for. He's a showman. He's very fond. I love early Van Halen. One of the yeah, best he's bands of all the time. front man of front men. Yeah, mean, he's, he's, he's bad, bad fucking fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but nobody says, wow, David Lee Roth, what an amazing singer. Yeah. And they're, that's who they're comparing you to, John. That, that's right, like what... That's like when people were like, oh, you know, when Axel, when they came back and he goes, Axel's voice is shot. You go, when when did he have a fucking voice? It, it always sounded like that. Oh, it was like, I disagree. The first Oh, Rose come on. I'm fantastic. not saying it was bad. It yeah. just wasn't like, you know, November Rain. Like, come on. I, I mean, it's a great song, but like, yeah. you listen to him singing it. It's, yeah. Uh, I would yeah, come on. And they go, wow, he's lost it. <laughs> Melendez. With guitarist Randy Cantor. That's my producer. Yeah, who you also admitted played a couple of leads on your album. After claiming you played all the leads, you went, I guess Randy Cantor played a couple of solos. Couple or all? What is this, Frog? So I was actually looking for a review of the album, but you'd be surprised how few there are. Mm. But I did find this review of one of his gigs from the L.A. Times in May of 94, and it basically says that he sucks and a fan left disappointed because John didn't stutter more. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Look at the last line. I wanted him to stutter like he does with Howard. <laughs> I, know, I know exactly who said that, too. Cardiff, yeah. you I'm have, looking. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, clip this. You're looking for it on your board right now, I can tell. <laughs> stutter, you piece of shit! There it is. There he is. Mr. L.A. Times, 94. He really didn't play that much guitar on it, but whatever. Also, Pat... Wait, wait, wait. Who did he say didn't play guitar? Randy Cantor. Okay. Melendez with guitarist Randy Cantor. That's my producer. He really didn't play that much guitar on it, but whatever. Also, Penn's infectious stompers. The kid don't look pretty. And mid-tempo ballads, the place. Now, by stompers, do they mean you take the disc out and you stomp <laughs> on it until it breaks up into pieces? Stompers? Like, We Will Rock You? Is that a stomper? I don't, I don't know it's, what a stomper is. Yeah. Dude, Dude, some I, of the New York I, Rangers will be playing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I haven't listened to this whole album yet, so I got to get on it, obviously, but I'm looking at John's album right now. Track eight is the kid don't look pretty. I've never heard anyone bring that up ever. And I know what music reviewers do. I'm friends with uh, Frank DeBlaze, who was a music reviewer here in Rochester forever. And they get tons of CDs they just have to listen to and review. And so they kind of skip through and they listen to a couple of things and they go like, hey, this lyric is funny or this right. riff was infectious or, well, the drum sound on this track is great. Like they're not sitting there and listening to it for a week straight and going, Oh my gosh, I have to review this album and explain what I like about it. Like, that's proof right there. He's calling out B sides. No one's ever heard the Jaws ever been bragged about and going, yeah, that's a mid tempo something or other. Right. Oh, and Carl, don't forget, when you when you do give that album a listen, I want you to know there's a hidden track. Oh my God. <laughs> of course there is. Joseph was... Silva, five bucks. I can't stand this idiot. When I. Uh, when can I come on to bash this fool? He also might have been the fourth best guitar player in his band behind the drummer. Yeah, oh, John, I'm buying a five-bedroom house in New Mexico. Well, that was a lie, and we it called was. you out on it. Yep. Uber driving, substitute teaching, the list goes on. Roast and roast writer. Well, what, what about um, telling no the vaccine. people at uh, Stevie Tomatoes? It's another one. That I wrote the graffiti and I was gonna have to pay for it because that's right. I mean, we no, proved that by calling them. They're like, no, we don't care. You had to get a team down there to clean that up. <laughs> Brennan did a great job on this already, but I mean, it's just so fucking embarrassing. Yes, you are. Like just for me to watch this fucking loser. So look, look at this panel of losers. <laughs> I admit the shirt is not helping. You got. The shit wear, who are, I don't know, is he auditioning for, what? you know? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it was going to be a gay joke, and then he, and then Insert he joke back. here. Right. What the fuck is this look? Didn't you have late?
Lady K. <laughs> that was it. That's all I got with that shirt. That's it. What the fuck is this look? It got you good. And a corn on the cob. That's right up there with Mountain's wife. Look at those eyes. Yeah, right. Those eyes she's got. That so nose. Big. Yeah. <laughs> big eye, big blue eyes. Who wants that? And this fucking loser who nobody knows. Okay. Yeah, I'm so stupid that I fucking run circles around you and everything I've ever done. Because you were embarrassed. You left L.A. because you were embarrassed. You left New York because you were embarrassed. You hid in Tampa. A lot of people who move places, it's because they burn every bridge and ruin every relationship they have. I have friends and family who all live in Rochester, so this is where I choose to be. It's, it's literally half the population of Vegas is people. This is their last stop. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this would be like if I moved to Alaska and I'm like, why don't you losers move to Alaska like I did? No, this is all convicts. Do you realize Sorry, that, right? right. Because this guy's in it's a Rochester. shithole, Rochester. Where are you, um, John? You're J- green John, you're in the valley. You're in Canoga. Also, IQ. but it's, it's ridiculous to me because it's just like, this guy can't even leave Rochester. We literally both own a house in the same neighborhood in Florida, you retard. That's the dumbest thing possible. I mean, it's fine. Not only did I see it, but the way it works is like a week or two before these things happen, one of us, before the show starts, goes, hey, we should throw this out there tonight. Of course. You don't think I know that, you fucking idiot? I know that. So I know that. But it's, he's, it's still a lie. No matter how you slice it, look at all the other lies. How about I don't have a motorcycle, Carl? You remember that line? I don't think I ever said that. <laughs> no. I honestly said, don't remember ever saying he doesn't have a motorcycle because I wouldn't know if he does or not. But he said he loves to say that I tell him he doesn't have a motorcycle. I don't, I, I'm don't. i sure you do, John. It's 2005. I, I could buy that tomorrow if I wanted to. It's not a big deal. I mean, he did. He sold it, from what I heard. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't care. Yeah. How about he didn't graduate from NYU? Well, I don't remember that line. Didn't. Yeah, well, you know, there's a He was so confident about it. Yeah, how about, sure you did. How about Vince? Remember that lie? You were so confident about that too, weren't you? Oh, but I get it now. It's all a joke. Oh, so all your lies can be fucking, fucking uh, What's that? thrown under the rug. Because <laughs> thrown so under the rug. <laughs> what else? That was closer that time. You almost got uh, there. Oh, uh, just joke. And he did, I guess that was supposed to be a sweeping motion? No, he was definitely digging. He yeah. was, so he takes care of the kitty litter. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it under the rug. But I, I love that one of the things that I, John likes to say that I lied about. Yeah. So I claim that he never interviewed OJ and asked him if OJ signed his knife. Right. And we had a bet. We had a $100 bet about it. And I had never seen that video. Most people hadn't. And then, uh, and John didn't even know he did that. His buddy reminded him that it, that happened. Right. So then uh, the video, someone finally found the video and it came out. And I paid John via PayPal immediately. But in my defense, I could have made the argument that he wasn't interviewing OJ. Because OJ, A, didn't acknowledge his existence. B, never answered the question. And C, didn't even hear it. Yep. <laughs> he was already in his limo with the window up when Jack goes to his side my knife. And Not John a very yelling. ballsy move. I mean, and I didn't show it in a limo with the window up. I, I can walk outside and ask a car door to sign my knife right now. <laughs> right, yeah. Not that, impressive. Not that impressive. Not impressive, you know. But you, you're right. Technically, what you said is true. He did not ask did. OJ, will you sign my knife? No, he did not. And I, no. even though I probably could have made an uh, argument that I was correct, I gave him the $100 and said, John, you win. I didn't know about this. No one knew about this. Here's your money. If he made the argument and said, you're talking to a guy who interviewed OJ's car door and asked it, will you sign my <laughs> knife? Then, then yes. he's right. He's 100%. Then, then I'd be like, all right, well, yeah, that's he, likely. You got because me there. The he worst part is, that. He's in a he'll never get a chance yelling. to interview OJ now. <laughs> <laughs> that is sad. Oh, okay, now would be a good time. He'd actually entertain that interview if he was still alive. Like, he... he you would talk to anybody, I think. Hello, stutter well, world. Can... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Discredit. I think I have a new character. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. I was thinking I have to put that.
that together, that's that's a home run. Just the just just hello stutter world. A home run. Oh my god, I love it. Discredit his accomplishments and then just say it's all a joke. Okay, got it. Nobody Scout thought it was a joke. Who the fuck are you? You didn't I mean, graduate NYU. Can you believe this? NYU doesn't You got a corn it. on the cob? This is this is the show? Hold on, time out. Adam, call this four fucking losers. I gotta ask a question. Anything. I gotta ask right, a question. It was a long title. Yeah, go ahead. Was it corn dip on John's show? Am I losing my mind or am I thinking of Opie? It's definitely Opie. Okay. Yeah. I don't okay. know if he made it to a Maybe John's corn dip show. didn't make it on John's show. It's yeah. it's so bizarre to me that they're like making fun of us for having corn dip on. Whereas corn dip is a fucking legend of the table verse, John, how dare you? We love Court Diff. Not to mention, it's not a dude in a ski mask <laughs> with a shitty British accent. Dude! About, it was less than two hours, maybe an hour and a half in, he goes, all right, I'm just calling it. All right, I, <laughs> the episode we started last night uh, before PDP uh, of old beer on the balconies. Uh, couldn't fit. I, that's what I was. I, was, I hate when he skips around. Yeah, it yeah. makes me nuts. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't Wish want to play too much. He's going embarrass him, so he just plays quick little clips and he always seems to stop on a part where somebody's ripping him you know i mean i know it's the whole show but i mean, I mean he always finds he always <laughs> he's finds the needle huh <laughs> yeah he always finds it another thing john's good at is <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to compliment the guy it's Kim that i can't even imagine but, it you know we Scroll have, down. he's had one question one q oh, and oh. one oh a. my god surely I was starting out podcasting. How did you? First of all, he'd been podcasting for years. He did it with Pescatelli. He did. He did it with Royce. And when I started watching him, it was his political show. Right. So you weren't starting out, John. You had about I don't know six, seven years of starting out. And then you know the fifteen years in radio that he brags about too. Let's not forget about that. Absolutely, great point. Do in the beginning, you had to go to Carl. And you had to say, Carl, could I, could I steal your idea? I was polite about it. I said, may I steal your idea, it sir? Was, it was a very nice text that he sent me. Yeah. And I got news for you, John. I had uh, uh, sponsors. I had Manscaped, Blue Chew, uh, Patreon was doing well, uh, just on the solo stuff. I had a million downloads in my first year for audio podcast. You don't, we you don't have to list right. your sponsors for John. He's tweeted all of them. I know. <laughs> all right, Uncle yeah, Rico. Right. Let's go. <laughs> Because I don't have any listeners. I'm not making any money. Projection. So now they're like goofing on my regrets. This is the best. This is rich. Seriously, this is rich. This is rich. rich. So their, their whole thing now is, what we're going to watch now, is them goofing on my regrets. Because I didn't play high school football. Because I didn't want to shower with a bunch of guys. Because I hadn't reached puberty. Maybe that's funny to Lady K. Maybe he didn't want to go in the show. You shower. also said you lost four hundred thousand. It's like remember the Larry Sanders show. Uh, and, and, yeah. and Hank Kingsley, what time he's arguing with Larry, and he goes, "So I chipped my tooth on a urinal. What the fuck is so funny about that?" And Larry goes, "It was your back tooth, Hank." And it was that's what this reminds me of. He's like, "So I didn't want to shower for the guys because I had no hair on my dick. What's so what's what, what's wrong with so that?" John loves to talk about projection. He goes, <clears throat> "Maybe that's funny to Lady K." He probably also didn't play high school football because he had a small penis. Like, wait, what? What do you mean? I didn't, that's never been now brought up anyone. Now, now you guys yeah. are a team, man. Couldn't get Lady K out of the showers. <laughs> it's always in there for some reason. <laughs> hey. They call me Maybe he didn't want to go in the shower. Well, he probably did. Oh, oh. Oh, there you go. Well, Homosexual. You burn his car Yeah. Because uh, he's a gay man, get it? Mm-hmm. He get, you know how Carol Burnett used to tug her ear for a grandma? His wink means gay joke. That when he winks, he, that, that's let uh, his Good family one, know. He I'm, just I'm got sure a... um, one out of three of your children will think that's a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, what a tart. Hold on, I'll do it better. Yeah, try better. Try again. And I believe what Kevin. He called you made that sound, though. What's that? Yeah, no, yeah he that. has. I always make that sound. You when did I'm it napping, back in... when I'm drinking, when I'm sipping my drink. In the shower. 
shower in the green room before we took the stage for our yep. musical number. That's he true. Carl is doing something, but there's a, I, I, I don't know what it is, hmm. but I don't think the beard on his face is the only beard that Carl has. Oh. Put it Whoa. that way. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. wow. I could understand wow. that if, if you were wearing the shirt I'm wearing in this clip, but uh, wow. What an accusation. We're, we're back to Carl was gay again, are we? Whoa. That's kind of where Finally. we started with all of this. Isn't it? Finally. Some of us never left, right, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> he sure loves like, hanging out with dudes. Oh, that, okay, okay, time out, time out. Now he's just stealing Kevin Brennan's material. Because that's what Kevin, when he was sniping us, he's like, I've never seen Carl more happy than when he's hanging out with guys. Yeah. Meanwhile, nobody is more attracted to a man than John is to Kevin Brennan. Every single fucking time he brings up Kevin Brennan, he's in all of his... Or when he met him in uh, Atlantic hug. City. That hug. There's that a video hug. of their hug. Oh. Where John's two inch erection almost busts through his shitty pants that uh, obviously Vince the the loser went through in, from the bathroom. His two inch erection almost busted through his pants when he was hugging. I've seen the video. I've seen the evidence of this. Like John is. I don't think John's a gay man. I I, I don't think that at all. I don't I think just he's a think man. He's, I just think he's very gay for Kevin Brennan. Yes, hundred percent. He's his new Howard. He's his new daddy. Yes. The bridge with Howard Stern, would that be a regret? Maybe going on the Adam Carolla show and saying you were underpaid four years after you were off the show and there was no reason to do that at all? Okay, thank you. This okay, is another address point. This? Yeah, please address this. This is this. my point, dabble point, which is the real concept of point counterpoint Correct. is to have yeah, a like counterpoint. It's, it's almost like Correct. a joke show or something. Yeah, I'd have you on every week if you weren't such a pussy. <laughs> yeah, no You'd come on. And I hate to break it to you, none of your fans ever want to come on. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I've asked Wondering Jay to come on WATP. Like, this guy fucking runs his mouth all over the place. Like, oh, we'll just come on WATP. Let's talk about it. Nope. No. Right, well, then shut the fuck up. No. Like, talk, to, talk to me. Talk to my show. Talk to my audience. We can do this. It's fine. Carl's not with Carl. No. No, Carl just, Carl just wants... To get more people to do shows and wax poetic about me. Now, I don't know. If you're watching, I'll ask you, Chad. Carl has an ad on Craigslist. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he has yet to address what Carl just said. He, yeah. He, he isn't talking about any of them. Right. I'll ask the know. viewers. Is this, I mean, isn't this pathetic that all these guys do? is focus on me yes i mean it it is fucking amazing Bre no you, you were right the first time it's pathetic but it works so we will continue to do that while let me just continue. let me just look at my last videos that i posted so yeah. that reality show is a brand new show that we just discovered that is fucking amazing i think it's gonna be fantastic for watp i had uh howard stern interviewing joe biden before that chris D'Elia. His nonsense, Kevin Brennan. We talked about that. I did a crossover show with Dick Masterson talking about the financial feminist and queer kid stuff. Tom Myers, who is one of the biggest retarded comedians out there right now. I talked about... Shout out, Tom Myers. Uh, I talked about the Brady Bunch kids to uh, the real Brady bros. I mean, I could go on and on. The, the you've fact proven that, it. It's all stuttering John. This is the yep. fact, That's just WATP. I do three other shows but the fact that john just likes to sit there and go all they do is talk about sorry john not true at all you just happen to be the most entertaining i'll That's give that cool. to you john you are the biggest low cow we're always looking for new low cows you are the king you're so ridiculous congratulations the duke, the duke. <laughs> and then was spot on today he's like all you guys do is watch stuttering john that's your oh that's okay your so me, i'm sorry i know i'm talking too much I got, i'm gonna stop yeah, it's all good but no. again, so he's watching Kevin Brennan watch us. And so that's his talking points and all Kevin Brennan's talking points. And I was watching this too because we played it on WTP this week where Kevin Brennan was sniping us. Yeah. And Kevin Brennan, it's so funny. He goes, he's watching us talk about Suttering John and we know all the things that are going on and everything's happening. He's like, 
these guys know everything that's going on. It's like, yes, it's called our jobs. It's literally what we do for a living, Kevin Brennan. And the fact that Kevin Brennan's like, these guys are good at their jobs. It's like, yeah, I know. That's, yeah. that's why we're successful at it, retard. Because we're good at our jobs. Kevin Brennan goes on his show and pulls up his phone and plays it in the microphone. He goes, like, you won't believe what I what I heard this morning. Someone sent me this. And then you have to listen to him, listen to this fucking segment back. And he listens to it three times in a row. And he has no idea what's going on, who the players are, what they're talking about. And yeah. he's winning? No, 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 no. Just the opposite, Kevin. I know what I'm listening to. I know what's going on, and I comment on it. And his job is connected to StreamYard. You'd think he'd know a lot about that by now, right? Oh, no. He knows nothing about it. He's he's helpless. He needs to bring Stevie Lou in to help him start a show. Unbelievable. Full business model. Watch Stuttering John. Let's watch Stuttering John. And then we'll comment on it. Yeah. With our- Same thing he tried, but he sucked so bad at it, nobody gave a shit. Our witticisms. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what? Witticisms. Oof. And then we'll comment on it. With our witticisms. Well, that's <laughs> okay, Carl. Cool. Why did I trash uh, Howard? We took the long way around, oh, but God, we're here. Yes, let's Tragic. address this. I said he didn't that he didn't pay us what we were worth. And that was true. But Carl, <laughs> but Carl, I got news for you. Before I even get to some of the reason why I did it, how about this, Carl? A couple years later. I hung with, out with Howard at his Southampton house. Yeah, you know why, John? You know why, asshole? Because your wife and Beth were friends. Because Howard right. wanted nothing to do with you. Right. And you know what, John? You know I know that? Because now that you're divorced from your wife, you will never talk to them again. Beth doesn't return your Facebook messages, which you embarrassingly talk about. Yeah. I would never bring up that I'm reaching out to Beth Stern and that she never gets back to me. You do, because you're a fucking moron. Howard hates you. He doesn't even acknowledge your existence. He's talking to Joe Biden about how Joe stuttered. And they're talking about how, you know, there's like singers who stutter. And guess who Howard didn't even think to bring up? Stuttering John Melendez, Atlantic recording artist, Stuttering John Melendez. You have nothing with Howard anymore. You have nothing. You're a loser. Yeah, let's fucking go. Come on. Come on, John so stupid that's right carl Susanna and i had dinner with howard and beth at his house in southampton oh wow that doesn't fit your narrative does it little carly and i don't even believe it i think he's so wet brain he's getting the timeline wrong i i think the corolla interview was the end that was it that could be true i honestly don't know when that was that could be true because he was divorced not long after that. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess they were still together because he made one, one too many and Susanna was in that movie. But, uh, yeah. John, the, the fact that you wanted Adam Carolla to talk about how you were underpaid was a really dumb move. And, and the fact that you don't know that is crazy to me. Yeah. That's stupid. Just for reference, Benji had dinner with Howard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I sat and ate with him. So, I mean, I think Scott the Engineer up. once had dinner with Howard. <laughs> See how that yeah, out. it ended abruptly when the cunt <laughs> word got thrown out. But yeah, he had dinner. Does it? Doesn't fit with your little narrative. Yeah, that's not the reason that we didn't talk anymore. I'm not even going to help you out on what it was. Uh, that means he hasn't had time to think of what. Yeah. Wasn't it? That was. Yeah, did that, that anger Howard? Yes. Yeah, it did. But you have Bob Levy. Who threatened to fucking kill Howard and Beth? Nothing to do with that. And Bob Levy had the cops show up at his house. Nothing to do with that. But oh, John. Bob gets a pass. Nothing to do with that. Bob, Bob's not allowed in serious. What are yeah, you talking about? Bob's Bob, never Bob been is, on the show ever Bob has again. actually come out and said he wished he hadn't done that. You've never right. done any of those things. If you'd come out and be like, yeah, I, that Adam Crow interview, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. It'd be very different. Be very yeah. different. But how dare I, after working for 16 years, being told I should abort my kid, you should have. not get paid what I was worth, what, how could I ever 
have any bitterness. You're not supposed to go from an really? internship to a full-time job. You do an internship, and then you use that experience. I was on the Howard Stern show. I had bits on there. I was an on-air talent, and then you go to a smaller market or a mid-sized market, and then you get on their show, and then you grow from there, John. That's how every radio guy does it. This retard goes, well, they paid me nothing for a couple of years. Now I'm making $10,000 a year, which is the same as nothing. But eventually I'll be making millions. Not how it works at all. You have no idea how a career in radio works. You're an idiot. Uh, listen, my theory is that uh, he, if anyone was paid what they were worth over there, it was John. <laughs> Without yes. a doubt. Correct. Without a doubt. Good for points. what he brought to the table, for what he did Good and points. contributed, he did got you, exactly what he Do you know how... All right, I, I, I've owned businesses. The, the way that you know that you're paid what you worth, what you're worth is when you stay there. Because if you're they're pay, underpaying you, you'll go somewhere else. Yeah, hundred percent. Took me took you sixteen years. <laughs> also, could be overpaid. <laughs> yeah, there is that too. I had bitterness. Rillo had bitterness. Jackie had bitterness. Artie had bitterness. DJ Dabbles, let's go. Yeah, right. Scott Einziger had bitterness. Scott DePace had bitterness. You don't mind if I speak for everyone, do you? Doug Goodstein had bitterness. And the list goes on. Scott the Engineer had bitterness. But somehow... He's a piece of shit. <laughs> He's a piece <laughs> of fucking shit, Scott the Engineer. Uh, I'm an asshole. You are. Yeah, Carl. I really can't argue that. That works in your world. But it doesn't work in the world of reality. Reality. Why? Did I think it was okay to do? First of all, I'm unfiltered. It wasn't a plan. Oh, we know Adam that. Corolla. Ask me. Were you happy with the way you were paid or whatever? And I was honest. I should lie, Carl, like you guys do every fucking show you do? Wow. Like I had a small penis? Or should I be truthful? You know what? I'm always truthful. Did I lie a few years ago that I was teaching? Yeah. You guys are the fucking liars. You've been lying this whole, all the time. Your whole fucking life is a lie. Your mom wife. We don't even know if you ever had sex. We don't know. We really don't know if you ever had sex with a woman. Why, why would you know? If there's no video footage of it. What the fuck's he talking about? Alcoholic <laughs> minds want to know, Carl. I've never smelled his finger. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so weird to me. I've met Cardiff and his lovely wife. I, yeah. I've, I've, you know... I've never once thought I would have even actually had sex. Like, for the most part, when I meet people who are married, I assume they probably had sex before. Yeah. What the fuck kind of accusation is that? If I ever thought that, I'd throw myself off the roof of my house. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's awful. Sounds like a great time to say potato soup in three minutes. Good luck, oh, everybody. Oh, oh no. Right. We're going to have to wrap this up in three minutes? We got almost 1,800 people in here, Cardiff. Uh, well, they're all coming over to Potato Soup. Post, and... Postpone it. 9.30. 9.30. Yeah, go 9.30. Come okay, on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. 9.30, everybody. Let's go. That's my potato. Bam! But, so, why did I go off on Howard? Why? Because you're an idiot. And I didn't go off on him. I just was <laughs> telling the truth. I didn't even know that I said anything that bad. Which I... So, it's never trashing when he goes after people. Yeah. It's just the truth. Okay, yep. got it. Just making sure it all makes sense. <laughs> 100% bitter. That's oh, that's brilliant. Is that Chuckster? Chuckster again. Oh, uh, Chuckster rules. Love unbelievable. It. Really don't believe I did. Don't forget, Carl. Howard went ballistic hey. on Jay Leno for two fucking straight years every day, Carl. You don't think that I knew about it? You don't think I had to go up to Jay Leno and apologize? I didn't have to. Exactly. Exactly. You didn't have to. You insert yourself. You bring these situations up when they don't need to be brought up. But also, uh, um, listen to what he's saying right here. Yeah. He needed to get revenge on Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. So it started with, 
well, I was underpaid and I was just being honest. And then it turns into, but also Howard was saying mean things about my boss and I needed to get revenge for the things that he was saying so that I said shit about him. It's like, well, that's a very different argument than what you started this with, John. Not to mention when Howard was saying... I just thought of it, Lady K. <laughs> yeah, right. It's no shit. When Howard was saying all these mean things, where was John to come running into the studio to stick up for Jay Leno? He didn't right. give a fuck about Jay Leno. Oh, yeah, he, no kidding. Exactly. Until until he got offered the fucking job. And then all of a sudden, Jay's so much better than Letterman. Jay's the best. Jay's the... Oh, fuck yourself. I had a small penis. I said, Jay, I'm Sorry. <laughs> Because of me, Howard trashed you every day. Because and of put me. Hand on my shoulder. He was trashing Jay for his writers stealing bits. Right. Had yeah, nothing well, to do with you. And then they eventually stole you. <laughs> yeah, he's, that's totally reinventing history. <laughs> yeah. And he said, John, I don't give a fuck. Now, Carl, Howard could have been a nice guy and not went off on Jay. But he went off on Jay because yeah, well, Howard was such a nice guy back then. He didn't go off on anybody. That yeah, was, that uh, the first time ever he went off on another entertainer. It's crazy. Yeah, man. he went to skull fuck man cow's fucking dad's corpse. What are you talking about? <laughs> he made talking fun, about? when he came to Rochester. We had this guy, Brother Weeze, as the morning show guy oh, here. He has yeah. a, like an autistic daughter. Yeah. And Howard ripped on his autistic daughter. Yeah. For the first, Three months he was here to the point where, like, Rochester kind of rejected Howard. He yeah. wasn't the number one guy here because we're just like, let's fucked up. That's like, too, we far. Like too yeah. far. Yeah, I wasn't one of those people. I liked Howard, but still, like, he, right. he would tend to go too far sometimes. Who's the, guy, who's the guy he brought his ex wife on? Oh, Devella. Oh, yeah. Devella. Devella. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he fought Captain Jenks, who later came out as gay went out on a date with her, uh, and they filmed it for Butt Bongo Fiesta. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then didn't she end up? Uh, she ended up killing. Yeah, she's yeah she went to Greenland. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she went to Greenland. It's crazy. Like I think we all know more about Howard Stern than you do, John. A hundred percent. People will bring up his bits or something. He'll go. I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, no. My my favorite is, and this hasn't happened in a little while, but people will chat him and be like, "Who was your favorite band that came on mm -hmm. the Howard Stern show when you were there? Who was your favorite guest?" He'd be like. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that. You know, I just when I'm on air, that's when I'm paying attention. You're like, Jesus, he's not even. He's in the shitter. He's on the phones. He's, yeah. He's not even paying attention to the show that he's on. What's the point of this guy? I was mad. Jay stole his guy. Howard didn't give a fuck. But what you just said is a very telling thing about somebody who's not part of the team, an individual, right? He doesn't have memories of his favorite guest or anything. But if you ask him which guest did you get along with the best, he'll remember that because yep. it has to do with him. Correct. It has nothing to do. I will a, take what? Hold on. It was I will the take, stuttering John show. That's how yeah. he remembers it. I will take legal action if my super chat isn't read refunded. Okay. Well, Calm down, man. We'll get to them. Yeah. We'll, we'll see in court. <laughs> We're gonna get Sue to me. It. Sue me for it. We're going to read the Super Chats during the first hour of Potato Soup. So exactly. Right. <laughs> when you're a guest there, shit where got fucking you know left or got canned howard could give two shits nobody liked him there me on the other hand and john why do they still play my stuff on sirius if nobody liked me then? weird weird right suit them yet not yet <laughs> popak call me very different so there you go carl all i said was i didn't get paid and howard would get mad when we did outside gigs both true so you're going to fucking sit there and go, that, uh, oh, why don't you say that? That's from your perspective. That's because you have an agenda against me, you dumb fuck. All right. Can I just explain yeah. who, who the dumb fuck is in this scenario? Please. I have a feeling I think I know who it is, but go ahead. It's not me, unfortunately. Oh, John. all right. I was yeah, wrong. It's not because I have an agenda. What happened is I was re listening back to Howard Stern in 2008 who was talking about you going after him for payment and, and how he treated you and everything like that. And uh, none of it was necessary at that point because you were off the show and you were so friend, so friendly with Howard. You were on the Tonight Show. 
there well, was not only no that, reason to burn the bridge. Real quick, he, he was a part of history of Howard Stern, that, that four-volume thing. Like, John was brought in uh, to, to be interviewed for that. So it wasn't like Howard didn't shut the door on. Correct. Yes. So my, my point, John, was not that um, I have a vendetta against you. My point is that you fucked up. You made a bad decision because you can't help yourself. You have to constantly burn bridges. Listen, there's one thing about telling the truth. We should all be telling the truth on shows. No one should be lying about things. But you don't have to bring up everything that bothers you about everyone. Right. There's no reason to bring things up unnecessarily. It doesn't help anyone. Right. So you have to learn, Jack. A, a better white lie is just not bringing it up. Correct. <laughs> right. My whole life was to be honest. I've always been honest, but I'm supposed to lie like all you fucking losers. You think Howard's going to lie about shit that irritates him? No. But I'm supposed to? Why? Why, Carl? Again, no one accused him of lying. It, it was, it was, the question was, when did things, you know, why doesn't he regret this? Because... The door was slammed shut Correct. at this point because yes. of this. It didn't help him in any way. I'm like, as far as regrets go, don't you wish you didn't bring that up on the Adam Carolla show? It didn't help anyone in any way, and it ruined things. <laughs> uh, I play better than Lady K. I'm so talented. <laughs> Chuckster. <laughs> Chuckster. Chuckster. These fucking guys are such fucking losers. Back to back. It's amazing. It's amazing. He's chain drinking. Yeah, he's like losers. he's like lighting the next beer with the previous beer, like when you see with the cigarette. You're like, uh, let's keep going, let's keep this party going. And I swear, like I'm watching Brennan play this, and I'm just like coming all over myself. Am I? Am I fucking? Am I really fucking? What? I mean, are you fucking with me? <laughs> Good one. You gotta be fucking with me. I mean, I, it's amazing to me. These guys can just go and lie about me nonstop. And, and like, I'm supposed to take you, Lady K? Now, that ain't how it works with me. Capiche? Let me get to a few super chats. Hey, it's, it's fucking amazing. You claim I wear Velcro shoes? I will show my shoes to prove you that I'm not lying. That's Did weird. he just say Capiche? A peach. He always does. Okay. Uh, it's because I'm sharing, I guess. Uh. uh oh, holy shit! Fucking nobody's worked harder than me. Nobody. <laughs> oh, so he was fucking pushing people in a fucking airport. I was lifting fucking truck tires. Hey, both weight the same, motherfucker. You know how many fat people want wheelchairs at airports, you lazy sack of shit? Fuck you. Fuck off. Fuck you. Fact Jack. Jack? <laughs> you so tired lately. Been hanging out with Kate? Oh, oh. No, but I'm pissed you did. Kate, get back to me. God, he's the neediest fucking human ever. <laughs> Man, also, woman, or child, call me, call me. I'm sorry, but if you have a relationship with a, a girl who's 20, 30, 40 years younger than you, and you are texting with them, you're a loser. While they're fucking other dudes? Yeah, that's just a loser thing to do. What are you doing? Jeez. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> God, uh -oh. you know, I'm fucking concerned. Uh, what, you ran out of beer? My phone, don't tell me it's oh, in, my, in my car. That is it? No. Because no. you don't have a car. <laughs> I don't think I would do that. Yeah, I'm a, no. it probably is. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, Diz5, thank you. Bet you cannot drink out your left hand, drunky. I will, but not for two bucks. <laughs> I'm so sick of these. Reasonable. What a, what a trick. What a, what a sideshow occurrence. Drinks with both hands. 
Come one, come all. How much are you going to pay me to drink with my left? It'd be great if you just spilled it all over him, like when you throw a ball with your left hand and you can't it do it. It fell out of his hand. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> That'd be great. Then I'd pay. I'd pay 20 bucks to see that once the show, just you splashing yourself in the face with a drink. I'm going to need at least 50 for the weekend at Birdie's setup. <laughs> uh, $2 super chat, you cheap fucks. Oh. Uh, penis wrinkle. Boss and Bonnie trash you good in their show. Rest in peace. <laughs> this is where Rich doesn't understand. He goes, I didn't say anything. I'm like, Rich, now that your name is in the devil verse, you're not going to have to say anything. It's just going to happen naturally. John, look, man, I ain't believing you. I don't believe anything you say. And they did fine. But I don't really have any real interaction with either one of them. So if they're trashing me, it ain't for anything I did to them. School! <laughs> Now I'm going to tell you how despicable Rich Voss is. <laughs> Making friends, Melendez. And then I'm going to get back to these idiots. Slim Faley, thanks for the dollar. Perfect. <laughs> dollar, thank you. El Diablo, you sound extra juicy today. <laughs> yeah, these $2 super chats, man. I, you know. <laughs> hey, look. Fuck Uh-oh. Up. He's going to go away. Here it comes. <laughs> you know, if I don't make money doing this, I'm gone. That's yeah. Fine. Go. It's fine. Take two bucks. You're, well, you spelled your wrong. The Duke of the <laughs> Wax. Bob is on fire. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Whatever you say. Whatever. Uh, you know, I might, I might start skipping the two dollar ones. I'm sick of it. John's gimpy Halloween hand. Thanks for two bucks. <laughs> You had now. <laughs> but not right this minute, no. DK in tax liens in 2010 for muttering J loser. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, not he tax- finally fucking admitted it. After oh. all of the I've never had a lean bullshit, wow. somebody tells him muttering J posted about it and he immediately cops to it. No shit. Wow. All right, so we know what to put in the super chats now. Just yeah. think muttering J said it. Hunter J said you had a very small penis in high school. All right. Yeah. It was because. Uh, wait, are you sure you don't mean the house? <laughs> the house. I don't know. Wow. All I know is that I, you know, you know. Uh-huh. John would brag about being able to do a show by himself. You know, cause... Yes. Yes. You mean like I'm doing now, Carl? You mean like <laughs> I'm doing now? I'm real. I'm kind of upset with Clay Dabla. Because he was supposed to come on today. <laughs> and he says he's got a, he had a date. You, you mean like I do 70% of the time? When do you do a show by yourself, Carl? Show me one. Carl. He was doing one till his wife walked in and crashed the fucking thing. And yeah, then right. it went viral. Chad, when did uh, Jay Leno do a show by himself? When did Howard Stern do a show by himself? Like Most people will do a show by themselves. It's called right. a show. Right. <laughs> There's a certain a certain look a show has that yeah. when the person's doing it by themselves. It's hey. your look. It's Brennan's look. Like that. Hey, Chad, you want to get a real gotcha on me? Uh, producer Chris isn't even a producer. He's just my friend Chris who hangs out. Don't tell him that. Play some drums and has some funny quips. Come <laughs> on. Hey, KB, did you hear this? <laughs> producer Chris isn't even a producer. And Jenny from the Jingles Department, there isn't even a Jingles Department. You won't oh, believe it. Emergency show. <laughs> okay, come Do one show. By yourself. W-A-T-G. Welcome to yet another emergency episode of Who Are These Podcasts. I'm your host, Carl Hamburger. Thanks for joining me at a special time. We're doing this because John just can't stop lying. Just one. <laughs> Prove you can do one. <laughs> I don't even have to do five. Look, look to your right, John. He's proving it. <laughs> Thank do you, Frank. one show by yourself. Such an idiot. Fair enough. One show. You, Let's see gonna, if you can do it. Are you going to admit that you're wrong about that, John? 
Because the rest of us can't yeah. do that. <laughs> no, no it's yeah, does Shuli ever? No. <laughs> do you ever, Carl? No. <laughs> we all have. The only guys that can pull it off is me and Brennan. Maybe Mel, but he's a fucking lunatic. Just that we actually have entertaining friends, John. <laughs> oh, entertaining friends. They're your friends now. So your buddies are a corn on the cob, a guy that <laughs> stole your idea, and this fat fuck that nobody knows. They're your friends. Okay. That's not fat. Got it. Way to work the room, John. <laughs> he brags about that, but then he always wants a co-host whenever he can get one. Yeah. Well, I have... Oh, my God. It's just... This is just amazing to me. I have a theory that he keeps asking Quad to come on because he's sticking it to Kevin by showing I can have a guest on every day. And Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay shit, Wayne. Yeah, all right. I'm sticking it to Kevin. That's why. It can't be that maybe I like Quad. You don't like anybody, first of all. I don't care about Quad. And, and handy, people in wheelchairs make you cry, fake cry, number two. And you didn't let me finish. I said you're sticking it to Kevin by showing him you can have a guest on that you don't have to pay. Right. That couldn't be it, can it? Nah, that couldn't be it. No, it's got to be I have an ulterior motive. I'm trying to stick oh it to Brennan. Oh, my God, Brennan. I just noticed. Got it. That got John it. has the same T-shirt on in the <laughs> episode. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's great. He doesn't want T-shirts, this guy. <laughs> What a fucking bunch of fucking losers. Unfucking believable. But I, I have to ask the question because John previously said that we owe him 20% of the cut of the money that we're making because we do all the right. shows about him. We're making all this money. But then we're also losers. I feel like you got to pick a lane. The problem with John and Kevin Brennan, the problem with both these guys, is that they want to have it both ways. They want to call us losers, and we have no audience, and we're faking it, and nothing's real, and then why are they making so much money, and people should be watching them. It's like, what, which is it, John? Just pick one thing and do that. They can. It changes daily, you know? Yeah. If, we have a, if we have a good day or you have a good day in Super Chats, then it's fake. If they have a good day and we don't, well, then it's all real. So it changes, you know? It's like the weather. not have to pay him what do you think of that oh, yeah, there's the... yeah speaking of a guy who doesn't pay people shit where why don't yeah. we talk to ronnie why don't we talk to scott call him i bet he won't pick up the phone i'll call him i bet you he will the engineer and why don't we talk to everybody else you screwed over on payment Hello, operator. I'd like the number for everyone else uh, the shit way is screwed over. Thank you. And then you can talk about me. You're a, you know what, Julie? You're such a fucking hypocrite. Uh -huh. It's insane. Uh -huh. How am I supposed to pay people when I'm not making anything, John? Make up your fucking mind. There's some of that, too. Yeah. There's some what? of that, too. There's some of that, too. Hello, Frisco. You're very good. Oh, I gotta say. Oh, whoa. You're very good at this. Keep going. You know what that drop was for that Howard used to play? That was that was uh, when they had, like, gay people, uh, you know. Wow. Hello, Frisco. Whoa. Starting to put I, a couple sorry, things together quick. here. Hey, <laughs> you started <laughs> I remember a few things that have happened over the years. <laughs> Just before we move on from Quadfather, he called Kevin Brennan's wife a primate, and that was pretty based. <laughs> well, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't catch it. You know, you I said, "What was that?" Yeah, you did. You go, "No, I have to kick you off." Uh, you did catch it, asshole. If I don't, hey, out of ears, out of mind, call. You know that. I love that both Kevin Brennan and John watched that part of the show. Where yeah. yeah, Quadfather called Kevin Brennan's wife a primate. And they both went, uh, what? It's <laughs> <laughs> great. All right. Good job, uh, Quadfather. Props. Let me get to these super chats and I'll let Cardiff go because he's got like seven minutes till yeah, his show. Cardiff, you're the best, buddy. Thank you for I hanging know. out with us. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate Overtime. it, buddy. And, uh, and and let's get to this real quick. Uh, oh, we're at uh, 3422, boys. Excellent package, by the way. Yeah, very uh, good. Uh, Brian K, gifted one. Thank you, Brian. Julie's Jewish. He can't help it. And I don't mean that as a joke. 
You can take off if you need to, buddy. It's okay. You don't have to stick around for the super chat. Okay, bye. Potato soup! Bye. Potato soup! <laughs> Go to Cardiff Electric's uh, YouTube channel. Watch Potato Soup. We, we'll have uh, John's uh, debut on American Idol. Yeah, get over there, fuckers. Okay, very good. <laughs> get over there. I'm, I'm there. All right, later. Uh, Donna G. Oh, hey, Andy. We are going to keep going, right? What's that? I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I heard John's album went aluminum, says Hold Scotty. On, she said, oh, hey, Andy, and Andy didn't say, oh, hey? Yeah, well, she said, oh, hey, Andy. Yeah, he didn't say, that yeah. Way? Okay, I wasn't yeah, Don is Don, Andy's Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, brother. <laughs> uh, Chip Jefferson would be great on Rico. Are you yes, kidding me? Chip Jefferson's retired, I think, right? Uh, he is, yeah. My oh, biggest God, three call me a home run. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest three regrets in life are not being Crystal Bernard, not beating up Melton in AC, and being so nice to Lady K, offering to watch his cats. There you go. It, it, might, all... as well, it might as well be those three. It's so ridiculous. His first biggest regret in life is not being the star football player for his high school. What an asshole. Uh, my name rhymes with Dick Sucker. I need DabbleCon tickets. Hey, Nick Tucker. Uh, yeah, we'll, we, you know, we'll make sure people yeah, get them. We'll, we'll make it happen. Rex Kramer. It looks like uh, Lemmy is trying to fade away off of John's shirt. Probably doesn't want to get drooled on. Poor Lemmy. Sorry, Shuli, but F-O-J. He doesn't like your comedy. Fine, but that F and fruit doesn't have to be disrespectful towards you. F-S-J and K-B, who gives a fuck? And people can do whatever they want. I don't. I don't. Who gives a shit? Man. Who gives a fuck? Exactly. Shit, way, uh, Lady K and potato salad. Skola. Skola. Uh, Carl, can we get the isotopes to play in Hornell, New York? Probably not. I mean, there's no one who lives in Hornell, New York. I've never heard of that until t- I have. just I, now. I'm familiar. Uh, Cardiff, can we do a to catch a dabbler? No, he ran off. Next time. Uh, awesome trio. Thank you, Lyndon. I will say, Cardiff does uh, shows, games for WATP every week. Well, twice a week, actually, every episode. And uh, we do To Catch an Alien, we do Who Said It, and we haven't done it in a while to catch a dabbler. But it's fantastic, because John starts saying something, and then he pauses it, and he says, what do you think John's going to say next? Yep. And he gives us five options. And I know you guys ripped it off on uh, BS Show. But we do it better, because we actually play the audio. What, what do we do on nice. BS with, uh, with John? Levy uh, quotes, I think. Yeah, right. Oh, Levy quotes. Levy quotes. But you never play the audio, so it doesn't, there's no payoff to it. We you can't know? find it. You know, crazy, crazy, said that. Sorry. <laughs> you know how many crazy things he says in a daily show? we we got to yeah. find the audio. You can't. Well, i got to hire I, three more people to go through that. I watch every day. Of course I know. <laughs> what I love about the game is he doesn't even know what his quote yeah, is. Yeah, he never That's my favorite part. part. That's the best part. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Kelso, thank you for the five bucks. I was gifted a membership three months ago. Now, to return the favor, everyone should enjoy the laughs. Oh, hi, Don. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, Appreciate Andrew Kelso. That. And he's a man of his word. Gifted one. Thank Hello. you, Kelso. Uh, I'm going to sit on Cardiff and then shit and repeat till my asshole is as hurt as John. Thank you, Jordan. Heads up, Cardiff. You got somebody coming over. Yeah, not recommended. Uh, Ryan Herb, thank you for gifting one. What? Appreciate it. Lady Die, stuttering John's beer, shutting him up, had me dying last night. That was fun. Can you find that? Rob, that was great. Reading. John is nothing but a disgusting piece of gum on the sidewalk. Keep up the great work, Julie. Uh, hello, you new two people. I'm Red Jim. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, Red, Red Jim. Jim. Red Jim is all in in the dabble verse in a very short amount of time. Smug John is bad, but jovial John is the worst. Janet, I kind of agree with you. Yeah. Uh, vertical lines. How do you feel about Biden on Stern Friday? I mean, we talked about it earlier. It was brutal. I, could you talk about that, Shu? I know you're still have a line of communication with Howard Stern. You probably don't want to yeah, talk too much about it. I don't care. I'll talk about whatever. It but was, but uh, like the, the fact that, you know, when I was there, it was very Trump heavy. And and we were specifically told no Biden did. Like we're we're not goofing on Biden. In oh this shit! Okay, that's oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So and you were told that mm-hmm. this is our this is how we lean politically and this is what we do to goof on people. Well, like something would happen and SNL would do a fucking bit a sketch yep. about it. So like as writers, we're pitching stuff that's in the news that's topical, 
And a lot of it had to do with him not knowing where the fuck he is, you know? And we had people that did impressions, but, like, he'd have 10 Trump impersonators in there, you know? So it's been like that for a minute, man. Alex Jones, who's a scholar, was fair game for some reason. Of course. Of course. uh... Well, and it, it was fantastic. All about this shit. I, all right, and it was a fantastic impression too. Shout great. out to uh, the wick. Uh, Shuli, for old time's sake, can I hear about Joe Corson in the stage deli? I'll knock his fucking teeth out, right? Thank you. No, you cannot. Uh, John is such a Karen. Hey, frog. Agreed. Where's your thing? Frog? He's always tattling. Oh, hey, froggy. Uh, uh, yeah, always. Always a snitch. Stinky Tickle bought tickets to all of Stuttering John's headlining gigs at the Laugh Factory this summer. Basically, it didn't cost me a dime, and I need to plan some events this summer. That's so the, the right thing. You can't follow John like you follow Fish, unfortunately. It's not going to be a lot of shows at the Sphere in Vegas. Is Carl an Arsenal fan? I don't think no, I was, a man, I was a Man U fan for a minute, but that was before I knew what was going on, so don't hold that against me. Oh, good. Not a Liverpool fan. Oh, no, definitely not. (laughs) Court Jew was, uh, quote, stuttering John tweet. Uh, Thought you'd remember. Court Jew. No, I I didn't remember that. (laughs) Joe Bravo, thank you for becoming a member. Appreciate it. Janet, the evil lawyer, it must be cool to do a show where the only point is to get people to hate, super chat you. You can just be a bore and provide zero laughs, hence John Melendez. I think it's going to be short-lived, though. I don't know. I don't know if you can do that model forever. It's working for him for now, though. Uh, it's Maud- it's got to be sucking his soul out of him. I've talked about this. Maybe we talked about it on Point Dabble Point. There's a South Park episode where Cartman hires Butters to manage his social media, and Butters has to absorb all the negative and does that, it doesn't bring that back to Cartman. He just has to absorb it all and yep. give Cartman the positive stuff. Southern John is absorbing all the negative all the time. It can't be good for you. He's going to come to DabbleCon 2 in Rochester, and like the crow, he's going to put his hands on my head, and he's going to go, ah, he is 30 years of pain in five minutes. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's actually the encore. I didn't, I didn't want to spoil it, but I guess you really wanted to. <laughs> As long as we sell out, I don't care. Maude <laughs> yeah, Levy, cares. gifted one. Thank you, you handsome. Hello. Uh, Star Mountain. This guy has some John stories. I saw Stuttering John's band live back in the 90s. He was okay as a vocalist, seemed okay as a rhythm guitarist. Guitarist. The metal bands that opened for him blew his band away. I believe it. Yeah. Thank you, Star. Good to see you, pal. Colin Madden, where you been? Member for 10 months. You know who got bad reviews in Rolling Stone? Black Sabbath and Zeppelin. They are clueless. Good point. Yep. Well, if you're going to sit there and be like, well, critics know what they're talking about, they definitely don't. There's many examples. Uh, John didn't read my $2 super chat to break a bottle over your head for $35. I contacted my bank and blamed... Uh, I contacted my bank, I think he wants to say. Yeah, I think so. I read the, by my, I blame my retired kid. kid. Fuck John. Thank you, Justin, for the five well, bucks. Well, that's retarded. And the story. Granny! Big fan of Granny these days on BYB. He was great with uh, John the other night. He kept pissing John off, which I love. At one point, he he did, he did chugged his beer and he yelled, Chewy! Instead of skull. Nice. <laughs> Check out the uh, uh, ENS stage of Sturry. Oh. End he, stage, probably. Oh, end stage of Sturry John's claw finger and John Carpenter's The Thing when George Bedding uh, gets infected. I'll have to look back on it. I've yep. seen it forever. John is credible. Two letters off from incredible. Yep. Uh, Looney Tunes, does does he think credible is just incredible for short? Probably. Interesting, he, Interesting. How, yeah. How many times have we heard him say, tonight I undress Carl? Two people picked up on that. In a right. Row. Yeah. Uh, Roth wasn't the best singer but he could hold a sold out stadium in the palm of his hand holy shit i I mean i got to see van halen with david lee roth and there's nothing better than it fucking fantastic but no he was not a good singer and that was the whole thing when um what's his name joined the band uh sammy hagar Hagar, yeah sammy hagar joined the band and they became like a softer band that was making more ballads and like rock hits and a lot of people I knew, and my, myself included, weren't as into Van Halen. And Sam Hagar would be like, yeah, but I can actually sing the songs. I don't have to sing. 
He's like, yeah, no, we know. Yeah, right. So you're, you know Sammy. You're a very good singer. But these right. songs are not hot for teacher. You realize that, right? Exactly. You're I not running see... with the devil. Well, you realize that. Yeah, I want to see a guy do a spinning round kick in yeah. the air and pop a balloon with a sword. <laughs> like, that's that's rock and roll, motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, no, you're, you're singing the notes very well, Sammy. No one's right. arguing with you on that. Uh, uh, like... Like Rolling Stone, John's the fifth best guitarist in his four piece. Very band. possible. There's probably a roadie or two who bring the guitars to him and can play better than him. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Roadies are actually usually very good musicians. Uh, Dom DeLuise, who needs Bob and Silent Mike when you can have a potato and a latent homosexual? Always winning at TSN. Wait, Thank you, I, Dom. Am I the potato or? I'm the gay guy. I think. Oh, okay. All right. I, don't, I will be tonight. I don't care. What John considers accomplishments or credits barely make him a has-been. How dare he disgrace that Motorhead t-shirt, skull, tear from the fourth row. Thank you. Uh, Julie said NLO didn't back Bob about KB and lied about him not being available. Comment? This is why Melton wants an apology. Apologize and make up with NLO. Uh, no. Thank you. Moving on. Hi, boys. I have right-sided weakness, and I can twist off a cap no problem. Love you guys. Red Gem Project says hello. Thank you, Cypher. It's not hard. It's not hard when it comes to, uh, what was he drinking? A Michelob Ultras? Yeah. Pretty easy to twist on. Uh, hey, Carla, you ever give it to your mom wife in the stinker? <laughs> he just does one of these, like, chaka, bra. John is always looking for a dad. Yeah, that is true. Correct. That is true. Uh, Bob's last smoke. He did it again today. He said Howard was a cheap fuck and didn't bring him up as a stutterer with Joe Biden. Oh, he did? Howard I didn't is... see it today. Oh, uh, Howard is still mad John left the show. Oh, that's great. Uh, he was crying oh, that he wasn't brought so up. Happy. I am so excited because <laughs> when I was reviewing this, I'm like, John would be so pissed. He wanted Biden on his show. He literally said, Biden's going to come on my show because I'm also a stutterer, so I can get him on my show. And then Howard gets him on the show. They talk about stuttering for probably 10 minutes, and John was never brought up. That's I can't wait bad. to hear this. Bad. Isn't it uh, ironic? This time he can't get through to the White House. <laughs> <laughs> you saved your one call for the wrong yeah. president, you dummy. Uh, Carl Shemp. Hamburger, Rumpel Trench Coat, a Colombo podcast. I don't think that's a positive thing. But it's catchy. I will say that. Uh, Brock O'Lee, I'm here because my cousin couldn't make it. Skull. Thank you, Brock. Oh, okay. Thank Give you our best to your cuz. Uh, Ralph Melendez hit Stuttering John for the same reason you hit a broken computer. You know it's useless, but maybe you can knock something loose so it works briefly. That's funny. Ricky <laughs> Bath. I mean, yeah, abusing your children is never funny, except for in that <laughs> incident. Right, right. Unless they deserve it. Carl Bo 2, out for blood. Uh, John has always been the recipient of stunt casting slash hiring. He hasn't deserved one job or opportunity other than reading Fred and Jackie's lines. Boom! It's true. Boom! Uh, Nilo, thank you. Why is Scott the Engineer a piece of shit? I'm missing some backstory. Oh. Go ahead. Well... And I've been teasing this for a while. I, I need to do a bonus show on it. But when his wife had cancer, Scott was begging for money from everyone, including Artie Lang, who a lot of the ex-staffers, or I, I should say ex-staffers, a lot of the staffers were trying to hit up Artie for money because Artie is a very generous guy and would give people money, and they all knew that. But Scott the Engineer was a piece of shit who acted like, he didn't have health insurance, which he did. And I said, like, Howard wasn't generous and didn't do everything he could do. And so he wanted to have this crazy thing where it's just like, woe is me. I deserve all this money. And he was lying about that. He's a liar. He's a piece of my, shit. my issue with him was just the block party stuff. Like, the guy did absolutely nothing for the block party. Yeah. Made two grand a weekend for playing three to four songs on his cell phone yep. and and then comes back and is like i'd like to take a look at the books to see if we could cut costs anywhere and it's like who the fuck are you dude you know how many comics i know that would kill to make two grand a weekend touring the country yeah he has, he has no talent whatsoever and expects so much from people and it's just like 
go fuck yourself, dude. I understand being an audio engineer in the 80s was very difficult. You're literally cutting tape and splicing it yeah. together. But guess what? It's a lot easier now. There's, way, there's tons of people who do it way better than you. Yeah. Playing songs on your phone is not impressive. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, there's not even people doing it. They just got computers doing yeah. everything now. That's it. Dude, Paris Hilton is a better DJ than Scott <laughs> the Engineer. Uh, Surely World Order. Uh, surely World Order. Oh, wait, that's real. Earl! Go, uh, go Mercs! Go Sabres! Yes! AK. The Amherst lost in the first overtime tonight, which uh, was uh, upsetting. They're playing against the Syracuse Crunch, but uh, it's a best of uh, five tied one to one. Surely World Order SWO. You gotta send that to it's officially jump the shark. Yeah, uh, X Mallard lover. He, o- I just want to say, my ring uh, uh, He only lied about the house in New Mexico to protect the New Mexico real estate market. Good That's point. a great point. That's, That's point. a great. Point. Uh, DJ Davies, if Stuttering John is the image of success, I'd rather spontaneously combust. <laughs> hey, House of Rebellion, thank you for the five gifts. Dues paying. 